I said, did that interview with Clinton come off? Now, remember, this was a person who a few months earlier had said, I never really liked him. So I said to him, I said to her, like, hey, did that interview with Clinton come off? And she went, yeah. And had this like little teenage smile on her face. And I'm like, hang on a second. You're like this hard hitting BBC investigative journalist. How come you just turned into this, you know, a teenage giggly mush now that after meeting him so i'm like how did that happen so she tells me the story about when people like clinton are doing interviews it was like it was in a large hotel room but like he's in one corner and like planes waiting to take off on a runway there's like media crews like stacked in this room in a diagonal across the room now he's got his back to the corner a nice pot plant little table in front of him but he's looking out at all this chaos and she remembers walking into the room just thinking, how can he possibly concentrate with all this stuff that's in his eye line to give the perfect you know, shot for the camera? And she sat down in front of him and he said, it was amazing because it's the, and these were her very words. The moment he sat down in front of me, he made me feel like I was the only person in the room. And his principle that apparently he works on is be here now. Now, no matter all the things you could be doing or people are trying to get hold of you, you can imagine how many people are phoning him on an hourly basis, but you just, it's a conscious decision. Be here now. So he just, on the eye contact, he was locked and loaded and made me feel like I was the only person in the room. And for him and for anybody to stop that multitasking, thinking about the next question, how do I bridge from this to this? It is, and I use this word very deliberately, a discipline. Yeah. Because it has to be a decision to be present with that person and just go, right, I really am going to take that time to listen to what you're saying, pay attention to what your body language and have faith that if I do that, then the next step will logically come because I am paying attention to you as the customer, your body language, what you're saying, et cetera. So the challenge then, and it is a decision and a discipline, be here now, be there, have faith, pay attention and the next thing will then naturally come because you are in the moment.